Hello. How are you? How was school? How was school, Abu? Abu? Yeah. How was school? Yeah. Alright, yeah. what's up? Look at him, put it down tonight. Is that what? 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 I will tell her to tell you the truth. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Tell her, say nothing, but tell me the truth. What happened? Hello, everyone. How you guys doing? Good evening, good afternoon. something fast for them okay you guys come on let's cook hello everyone how you guys doing cooking with chef ruby family how you guys doing i'm gonna clean the chicken first before i start cooking hello 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 hi that's my hurry up and finish that. I, I say hurry up and finish that. The noise. So, I'm going to clean my chicken like this. Clean my chicken. Like that. Take all the fat out of the chicken. How is everyone doing this afternoon? I hope everyone is doing fine. When you don't wipe all that water, you drop it on that floor. So like I always tell you guys, always try to take as much fat you can take out of any meat that you cook. That will help you save yourself three or four pounds of weight. Clean the feet. If you are somebody that likes to suck the bone, make sure you clean the feet very well. Good afternoon. How is everyone? You guys join the live and share the live. As you join in the live, you can share it at the same time. Hold on. I have to bring this close so I can read. Uh, Miss... Oh God, the comments are going fast. Miss Dolly said, hello family, how are you doing? Wow, that, that sounds good. What? Miss Dolly, can you go back and correct your spelling? <laughs> you said that bitch chicken with mashed potato you wanted to say baked chicken but hey hey my lord oh my lord please miss dolly go back look at your comments and take it off or try to correct it so i'm going to delete your comment later on take your time when you type it please now you're cursing my chicken huh miss dolly you try to type and you're cursing my chicken now you, you 
telling my chicken is a bitch. Godfather, Miss Dolly over there cussing my chicken I'm cooking. Instead of she said baked chicken, she said bitch, bitch chicken, bitch. I never see somebody cuss chicken. Okay? Chicken, chicken is the number one dish in America. We're gonna sue you. I swear to God, you go. I <laughs> I'm going to sue Miss Dolly, I swear. She's cussing my chicken. Number one meal in America, chicken. That's what she's going to cuss. Say, that bitch chicken. You. <laughs> Hi, Miss Angie. It's a misspelling, though. It's a misspelling. If this lady don't stop making noise over there, we're going to have a problem. It's a, it's a misspelling. That's why you guys don't need to laugh at me sometimes when I say bad English or when I say a bad word. Everybody make a mistake. Miss, Miss Dolly, maybe she's a very educated woman. Look, she make a mistake. But that mistake was very bad to cost my chicken. My chicken I'm going to cook to eat. She cost my chicken. I'm very mad right now. Hmm? My chicken is not a eh, 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 oh. My chicken is not a B I T C T C H. No, my chicken is virgin. <laughs> this is a virgin chicken. <laughs> she said that bitch chicken. <laughs> no, she she don't mean to. She wanted to say that big chicken. Oh. <laughs> she mistyped. Me too. I'm laughing today because. If I, the last time I made a mistake, somebody said message, I started going on and off, massage, massage. You want to massage me? You know, all of them, they was laughing at me because I mistake mes message for massage. Yeah, so me too today, I'm going to laugh till I finish this video. <laughs> she said that bitch chicken. <laughs> it's true. They have some bitch chickens though. In Africa, okay. yes, in Africa they have some beach chickens. Those That's chick, the, the, those chickens, they're gonna be walking like you know, like as soon as they see men, they go like this. <laughs> as soon as they see the male chicken, they lay down, they bend like. <laughs> Miss Donna said, "How are you? Um, hi, how how are you and your kids? Can I have?" That beautiful sweater you're wearing, you always choose your your clothes oh. nicely. Your colors, eh? Yeah, me too. Nobody laugh at me, oh. You're, Nobody laugh at me. You know how she know daddy people talk. You have to read it there. I said like she type it as she as she talk. That's how I do. I type as I talk, but they laugh at me sometimes. You see? Some, you no, talk. sometimes I read as I as I see. No, you know how mm -hmm. you talk, right? Mm -hmm. But you can you can type a message way differently. Hi, Mimi. How are you? Hey, don't hold that sweater and go. You need to come help me. Come I here. Know, but can I change my clothes? Okay, you're gonna go change your clothes for two hours. Your woman, come in this kitchen and help. Okay, it's not about okay. You're gonna see me suffer, 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 punish in this kitchen. Then you're gonna go sit downstairs. Watching me on your phone. Go change your clothes and come back. You always have to be with your mom in the kitchen. That's how I learn how to cook. Guys, look at all these fats on six pieces of chicken. You all see the fats that came out of it? Six pieces of chicken. So I'm going to go waste it, trash it, put it in the trash. I arrange my bowl. Air bowl connection. They said connection, not good. I rinse my bowl. 
and I'm gonna go rinse my chicken. You guys give me one minute. You just have to wash your chicken. But before I do that, I'm gonna sprinkle some lemon juice here. Sprinkle some lemon juice on your chicken. That lemon juice is gonna kill more fat on the chicken and it's gonna um, it's gonna take the rank smell out too. Let me look for salt. Where's my salt? Okay, salt here. So you're gonna sprinkle some salt here, then rub it. Can you guys see? I put some lemon juice. No worry, chef. English is not your mate. English is not my mate, oh. But sometimes English is my mate. You know, because when you bring it to me, I'm going to bring it to you. You know? English. You know what? This English is stronger. Even people that are born here, the bull, they, they, they make mistake. People that are born here, when they go give speech, they write on the paper on, or on the phone and hold it to read because they don't want to make mistake. You know? So... English is how you speak it and how you read it. But especially this typing, typing stuff, anybody can make a mistake. So y'all see, I rub the lime juice good in this, um, in this um, chicken and I put a little salt. That's going to help it clean it so good. All this fat, when I go rinse it now, all this fat, yellow fat is going to come out. Okay? So, um, Miss Latoya said, do you have bleach water for salmonia? Just asking because your, your churching things, just asking. What do you mean if I have bleach water? Who put bleach water in chicken? Why is the bleach water? Latoya, what do you mean? Why is the bleach water? Me, I don't see bleach water here. And you don't put bleach water in any of your food. I never see anybody put bleach in food. So, I don't know. Did I call any bleach here? She asked me if I have bleach water. Why is the bleach? I've seen somebody put bleach on chicken. The, the guy, the tall guy that used to work for me at the restaurant. When he started working, the moment I give him chicken to go wash in the sink, I just saw him going like this. I screamed. <laughs> I was screaming. I said, hey, stop. I said, why you put bleach on the chicken? He said, the Jamaican restaurant I used to work, they put bleach. I said, this is not a Jamaican restaurant, though. This is Chef Ruby restaurant. I don't do bleach. Okay? So, you guys give me one minute. Let me go rinse this. I'm just going to rinse it quick. And you guys. Rinse the chicken. Rinse the chicken. Make sure you rinse it one by one. So you can get all that salt out out of your chicken. You have to get all the salt out and all the lemon juice out. You go to the sink and rinse. Okay. The chicken is ready. Then I'm going to put my pots. I want to bring you guys closer here let me turn you guys so my pot is in here we're going to lay this chicken in this pot this is the fastest baked chicken i'm going to make ever but i'll show you guys how to do it sometimes you can do raw chicken sometimes you can do um steamed chicken so the chicken is in the pot right let me hold this phone so i can read comments uh, Okay, uh, let me read comments. Uh, Miss Garalian Gar eh? Gar eh? Gar Gar said, That's why I don't buy leg cutters. I think they have more fatty stuff. My favorite is the breast and wings. She is talking. Oh, God. The comment is gone. I wanted to read that comment, too. I want to read it. Okay. I have to look for the comment. She is talking about cleaning with bleach after cutting up meat. She don't have to teach me that. No, she don't have to teach me that. Now, I went to school for that. When I used to own the restaurant, I went to school for that. They teach me that at the school. 
you know when you do your food safety um food safety certificates um serve safe whatever they call it they teach you all that i don't like when people come in my uh, kitchen they try to teach me what to do i hate that i know what i'm doing watch the recipe and go cook for yourself i remove yellow tips and soak my chicken in vinegar and lime overnight that's very good too but i don't think i would do that like to soak my chicken overnight in lime juice and vinegar no you know if if you soak it there too much it's going to mess up your chicken so now i'm putting my all-purpose seasonings on my chicken i hope you guys can see the all-purpose seasoning is in there as you can hear it is um coming up it start boiling already can you guys see here and for that lady that said that's why i don't use leg cutters even chicken wings you're using this is um gal um this is garlic i don't feel like blending today so i bought some of this um stuff at the store this is garlic even chicken wings if you're cooking chi chicken wings you have to clean it you have to clean it you know chicken wings even have more feathers than um chicken leg cutters you know and um chicken breast too have a lot of fat you have to clean it so any chicken that you cook you have to clean it you just have to clean it it don't matter which part of the chicken you cook so this is um ginger paste so i'm putting ginger paste i already put garlic paste right it's in there and uh what else i'm putting this is um basil leaves i'm gonna put some basil leaves i'm using like two hands and i'm holding the phone i just want you guys to see this is basil leaf i'm just gonna put small for the flavor when i'm done i'll close all of them okay this is small bottle this is just small bottle right here i'm putting okay and now we're gonna look for spoon to mix it can you guys see um somebody said kathleen reply to kathleen um, I think people need to stop worrying what others do in their homes. Um, you're right. They need to stop. I'm getting a spoon. I'm going to get a spoon and I'm going to get some oil. So I'm going to spray some oil in here. This is my vegetable oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I'm just spraying some oil in this chicken so this chicken can steam. So you can go ahead and mix you can go ahead and start turning your chicken you're gonna let this chicken you're gonna rub this chicken very well it's boiling now this is just um this is just six piece of chicken she knows how to cook she is a chef and about sanitation i know about sanitation i ain't gonna lie when i just come from africa i don't know nothing about sanitation but the moment i get into food whether you like it or not, you have to go take your classes to learn about food. And I've done that class more than two times, you know. So I'm not going to say I know everything, but I'm, I'm trying my best. Um, dark meat chicken or the cheapest chicken you can buy. I never buy it, but that's my choice. Of course, that's your choice. You eat what you can afford, you know. You eat what you can afford. If you can afford Lamborghini meat, you can go buy Lamborghini meat and eat it. If you can afford the Lexus meat, you can go buy that one and eat it. You have to choose what you can afford. You know, me, I love like chicken leg cutters. My boys love it. And I'm going to cook it perfectly. Let me get this gravy here and put it inside my chicken. Hold on, guys. I'm holding the phone and I'm trying to cook. You have to get the gravy and stuff it in your chicken. You'll see this gravy. Get this gravy, stuff it inside your chicken while the chicken is boiling. You're just going to steam this chicken, okay? You're going to steam it. I need to put a little bit of water. Let me get a little bit of water. I'm going to get a little bit of water. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of water because I want my chicken to cook, right? I'll put a little bit of water in there. Now you're gonna dip the chicken 
inside this water. Y'all see how Chef Ruby seasonings is so beautiful. Y'all see all that blood coming out of that chicken. You have to make sure your chicken cook very well so the all so all that blood can go away. I want to flip this one. Y'all see that? If I have a cover, I can even cover it and I, and let it cook. Um, hey, chef and family, about to learn something new today. I am here for it. Thank you, Miss Tracy. Um, so let me flip this phone. Let me go to the next step. Ah, phone flip now. Flip. Why this phone is not flipping? God, maybe because of the oil on my hand. Oh God, can you tell this phone to flip? Now, wow, for these people, you they try, oh Chef Ruby. Thank you, Miss Oyinka. Thank you, my sister. These people don't understand; they don't get it. So the ones that don't get it, we're not gonna be worried about them. I'm trying to. Uh huh. The phone is flip. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to the next to the next stage of my cooking. You guys come over here. I have to close all this stuff that I open. I have to close them. Ginger, garlic paste, and um, parsley paste. One of, the, one of the cover drop. So one of the cover drop right here. I'm closing them, put them to the side. Then I'm going to go to the next stage of my cooking. This is potatoes. I'm going to peel the potatoes. Good afternoon, everyone. You guys can click the link to, um, to sign up for my subscription. The subscription is um, two ninety nine. Um, if I have enough, if I have enough people on my subscription, then I'm gonna start going live there. Then we can do like one to one videos. You know, I can give you personal recipes and stuff like that. So you you can go sign up for my subscription. Um, it's two ninety nine. But when I when I start making when I start making content over there for you guys. I might raise it to five ninety nine because I have to buy the stuff for me for me to start um, doing the stuff that I plan to do there. We can give out some gifts, and I have the names. I should have write the names down. Actually, it's two people that won my apron. It's two people. One one for Miss Tracy and one for the other lady. Um, what's her name? Sheila or something. So I'm going to write the names down. When I go back live, I'll call the names. You guys need to... I already emailed them on their Facebooks for them to send me their addresses. But I'm going to call the name again on my live so I can let them know. It's two people that, that want, that have the, the almost the right ingredient that I cook on that competition. So I'll go there and call names, okay? Uh, Miss Ella, how are you? Thanks for watching. You guys can feel free to send stars for Chef Ruby. If you want to support my cooking, you want to support what I do, and you love what I'm doing. So these are potatoes I'm peeling. This knife, I just sharp it. It's so sharp. So I'm scared. I'm peeling the potatoes. Um, this blew up. Some of us will never mind our businesses. Let the woman cook and clean up in peace. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you so much. You know, if they just leave me in peace and let me do my thing, let me explain the recipe and let me cook the recipe for you guys. I said it yesterday, even me as a cook, sometimes I'm confused, I don't know what to cook. I will ask my kids, what do you want to eat? They say, I don't know. Then I get confused more. But if you guys are blessed to have somebody that think about something and bring it on the table to show you guys, to share the recipe, maybe you can go home and cook for your family. You need to appreciate it because not everybody can do that. It's not everybody can come on this app and share a recipe. Even some people that used to cook, 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 cook all the time. Some people stop. Some people stop cooking. They do other stuff. And you're not going to arrest them to say, oh, why you stop cooking? Why you stop showing me recipes? You know, they do other stuff. But me, I'm still here cooking it almost every day for you guys. So... If you cannot support me, don't talk bad. Don't talk bad about me, or don't tell me what to do. Let me do. I'm the one come up with the recipe. I'm the one come here to cook. I like to share ideas, though. I like to share ideas. If I'm cooking, you think about something, you let me know. That's fine. You know, I'm I'm the kind of person that listen to my jaws, to my supporters. 
you know but if you come you try to control me tell me what to do or cussing at me oh you daddy oh you this oh no i don't like that if you meet me on the wrong side i'm gonna address you daddy you know that's just me. Miss Tracy, you are one of the win at the A. Let me don't say that too. Let me look for the last name. Because we have some Tracy here. <laughs> I think that's Miss Tracy. It's I think it's Tracy and Shyla or Sheila. It's two people that want my apron. So please try to contact me. I, yeah, Miss Tracy, that's you. Uh, um please send me your address. Go to my inbox and inbox me your address. So I can ship you one of my apron and tell me which color you want. I have brown and black. Who is that? Maru? You okay? Can one person come up here and come read comments for me, please? Okay, Fruby, I had to fix some some short ribs today and roasted veggies after watching your live yesterday. Thank you. You are so welcome, Sharanda. Please go fix it. It's so good. It's so good. My kids, my kids ate up everything. Nothing left. They even scrape, they even scrape the 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 the, the, the um the foil pan. They even scrape. I'm gonna show you the foil pan because that's the same one I'm gonna use to bake this chicken. The the mac and cheese. They scrape the um the glass bowl. They eat up all our food yesterday. They love it. So please go cook it for your family. They will love it. I'm going to make mash. These kids love mashed potatoes. That's why I'm doing a lot of mashed potatoes. If I do small, only two people are going to eat it. The other people are going to go to bed hungry. So I'm going to make as much as I can. They love, 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 love mashed potatoes. All of them. So this is mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes I'm making. I'm going to do three more than that's it. This is like a half bag. I have another half bag here. I make half bag. Okay, somebody needs to come sit here and help me, please. Let me put my half bag over here. Okay, let's check on the chicken. I cook liver and onions, mashed potatoes, and sweet peas. Oh, Miss Linda, that looks so good. I did inbox you on your personal page. I will take a brown apron. Okay, Miss um, Tracy, thank you. I'm gonna check my personal page and see if it's there then i can ship it to you i want to turn my chicken this phone why is so hard to flip ah why is not flipping help me i'm trying to flip it but it's not maybe it's froze do it and come sit in the middle so you can video here mm? you flip it go sit on that chair in the middle so you have to flip your chicken. You have to keep flipping it. This one still has one minute. You have to come and flip your chicken in this season right here. See, the water is almost dry, but the chicken is not done yet. So I'll probably come add more water. I don't know. Let me add small water again. I need to add small water. So I'm going to add small more water. Don't add too much water. Just small. Let me leave this on the side. And um, I'm going to finish cutting up my potato. Are you okay, Mary? Mm -hmm. Let me put this here. Um, you can turn the camera right here now. Or oh, they can see me from there, right? And you can read comments. Just hold it in the comments. Um, wish I was... We, um, Miss Baggy said, wish I was there eating that beautiful food. I know it smells amazing. It smells so good. It smells so good, my dear. And if you taste it, it tastes so good, you know? Not only smelling good, but it tastes good. So I'm finishing up my potatoes. I have three more left to peel. I have three more potatoes left to peel, right here. My potatoes, can you guys see? Cookie. I'll show you. Uh -huh. Cookie says, Chef Ruby, how much are the aprons? The aprons are $40. I'm 
My aprons are falling. What I do with the one I put on yesterday, I think it's in my room. Yeah, my aprons are forty dollars on the website. And I have only a few left. I have to send to Africa to print more. I have only a few left. I don't know if the ones that are left, I don't even think they are more than ten. So you guys can go there and grab them. You know, Shepruby apron is like a souvenir. You can have it with you for the rest of your life. <laughs> You know, you want to remember me every day. Oh, this is Chef Ruby. Even if after Facebook, you're going to say, oh, I used to watch this lady, Chef Ruby. Oh, this is her apron. You know, you want to remember me. Cookie said, how do I order? Um, on the website. Can you pin the website, madam? Pin the website. Let me wash my potatoes. I'm washing the potatoes. Washing the potatoes. Lynn sent 300 stars. Huh? Lynn sent 300 stars. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the stars. Let me cover this chicken. You have to. I find the cover. So I'm going to cover this chicken. The skin will not The skin will not let me. The skin will not let me cook fast. Okay? sprinkle some salt in the potatoes now you're gonna let your potatoes boil and let me check on my chicken let me check on my chicken you also you all see the chicken right here i'm gonna flip it again the chicken you have to keep flipping it you have to keep flipping the chicken so both sides this one i'm gonna leave it outside because it still has some blood you have to steam it till you don't see blood anymore you don't see blood coming out of this chicken anytime you want to bake chicken fast this is the fastest way to bake chicken this is the fastest way to bake chicken you'll see it's almost done even when i stick the, uh, the spoon and it is going in but i'm still going to let it steam maybe i'm going to steam it till the water dry till the water dry in it you have to mix you have to make sure the sauce goes in too. Okay, so let me clean up here and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing next. Clean up, clean up. Okay, so I'm cleaning up. I'm putting the potato next in here. Like that, like I owe you some money. How much money I owe you? Huh? You don't. So, but why are you looking at me? Like Actually, that? why are you looking at me? You don't owe me money, but I'm not, I'm not looking at you. I don't owe you nothing. Why did I borrow money from you? Never in my life. You owe me $20. Yeah. Yeah. That time I was leaving the house. Uh -huh. but you and, and, and you told me to give you the $20 and you owe me back. Eh? When was that? Yep. Money. Yes. 
that's more than any debt that's more than one year is not going to be paid. And how long your debt is taking, man? Mine's been at least like half a month. Well, ever since. Ever since, like, near the end of last year. Ah, well, it's over. No, -uh. it's not near the... This is December, the year is finished. No. No, any debt that's more than one year is not paid. Mommy, it was around April or May. So now you want to push it all the way to April, so I can... It was around the end of the school year. That's around the end of the school year. This is so good. So my potato is boiling. Y'all see this bowl yesterday that I baked the beef ribs? Empty. That's why I'm gonna bake my chicken. That's why I cover it so I can save all that good stuff in there. You want me to use a new foil pan? A new foil? Yeah, but what about all this good stuff? That's why I save it. Huh? This is good. This is, look, this is good. That's why you put the cat in the oven. All this. I save it. I'm gonna put my chicken here and bake it. Oh, look at this. Look. These kids don't know good stuff. Now you're gonna tell me to change the foil and put another foil. No problem. No problem. So that flavor can come on top of the chicken. in this uh, pan. Now when you put your mm -hmm. milk, put it in a glass bowl, a glass jar. Why should I put it in a glass jar when mm -hmm. it's already there and I know I'm going to come bake the next thing? What should I do there? Mm -hmm. To preserve it. Preserve. I already preserved it right here. But anyway, do you guys remember my sauce yesterday? This sauce is barbecue sauce. Do I remember what I put in this sauce? <laughs> Tell me what you put it. Tell me. You put barbecue sauce. Uh huh. Ginger and garlic. Mm -hmm. And you put it on the all purpose. Uh huh. Put some jerk. Uh huh. And some more jerk paste. Uh huh. Um. I think that's pretty much it. This is mustard, guys. Because it's chicken, so I'm putting mustard. Uh huh. I'm gonna put some oil. I'm just trying to add the sauce, guys. So I'm gonna put some all purpose seasonings. These seasonings, you can cook anything with it. So Felicia said and brown sugar. Yes, I put a little brown sugar. Thank you. Oh my god, these people can remember. Hey, thank you so much. So right now I'm just um I'm, I'm just putting a little twist in this sauce. The only twist I put in it right now is um, the mustard. Because right now I'm dealing with chicken, so I'm putting mustard. That's why it's going to be a little different from the one yesterday. The one yesterday don't have no mustard. So this one today is going to have a little mustard because we are going to put this in chicken. I saw you using the tissue paper. I was laughing. Which tissue paper? Oh yeah, the tissue paper to rub on it. That's what I'm gonna use again today. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You know what was the English word that you just speak now? Improvise or what? What you say? In what? You speak an English word. What like her? Okay, no, this is not preserved. When you don't have something, then you figure something out. To do what you're supposed to do. What is that? In oh, improvise. Improvise. Today I'm going to improvise. So I'm improvising here. Chicken, come here. Chicken here. Can they see? Now if you have to come closer, get up and come closer. You are a young boy. My feet is stronger than me. Come to me, Bobo. So my people can see good. Can you please? Can you get up? Maybe say good. Mm -hmm. Maybe good. Okay. So I'm gonna improvise and improvise and improvise. Okay? 
So come on. Give me this sauce. This sauce right here, we're gonna take this other sauce and put it in there. Put this in the sink. So we have the chicken sauce. Now we're gonna mix it together. You all see my chicken sauce? Nobody is reading comments. You read the comments as they pop up. You see how quiet it is? When I keep quiet, do you guys see how quiet it is? Hmm. That tells you something. So do you guys see this sauce right here? Makes it very good. Let me taste it first before I put it on my chicken. Let me put this right here. Mm-hmm. Hey, God. Who want to taste? Who want to taste? Want to taste? Want to taste Nazma? Nazma. Taste it. Okay, let me improvise. This is my brush. Come brush this chicken like this. Barbara sent 100 stars. Thank you, Miss Barbara. May God bless you. Thank you for supporting us. You the one read the comment. You the one supposed to say thank you. Say thank you, Miss Barbara. But you're the one that receiving it. I'm the one receiving it. Say mm -hmm. we the one receiving it. This is a family page. It's for all of us. So if you hold on the phone. What if I don't want to be in it? You want me to take you out? Yeah. I'm going to take your, I'm going to cut your face on our family picture. <laughs> so you don't want to be in my family page. Why? You have to give me a solid reason. Why you don't want to be here? Give me a reason. I cannot just take you out like that. Give me a reason why you don't want to be there. You don't have a reason, right? Hmm? What's your reason, Maru? Maru, Maru! You don't want to be my son? I'm not saying that. If, if, if you don't want to be my family, that means you don't want to be my son. How? Because you don't want to be part of my family. My sons, my daughters are my family. Right? So because I don't want to be in a page yeah. means I don't want to be in a family? Yeah, family page. That's my family. That's... <laughs> that makes no sense. It makes sense, so... Mommy, that's just how you're taking it. Yeah, yeah that's how I'm going to take it to. Any mother going to take it like that. Any mother. No. Yes. Any mother going to take it. Social media moms, if their kids don't want to be on social media, then they understand Okay, so when I'm making my money on my seasonings on everything, you know I'm gonna eat. You always make didn't we already talk you? about that? No, and my we never talk about that. So we have to sit down and sign contracts. I could get the paper. When I be uh uh all that phone first to the finish. See, see. <laughs> then when I become a millionaire. When I become a millionaire, then I, 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 me, 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 me. I said when I become a millionaire, your dad or your mom have to become a millionaire and, and, and leave the will to you. Okay? Most of these people, these rich, rich people, they leave all their riches on their kids. Right? The kids have to be part of the business. You guys don't understand that. Hold on, I have to teach these kids some stuff. So look at this chicken now. Y'all see how beautiful the chicken is? You see that? So we're going to put it in the oven. You know what? You don't want to be on my page. You don't want to be on my business. Then we're going to sign a contract. I know that one sitting there too. She's feeling the same way. I can think. I can read in her brain. So, speak up. I'm being serious, so I'm laughing, but I'm being serious. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One minute. This is a serious matter. Hold on. Why are you laughing? You have to speak up. I'm not laughing. I'm you have to me. speak up. I'm going to get the contract. Huh? No, 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 no. I have to make the contract. Come here. 
I have to make the contract, Madu. <laughs> Madu. Madu, Madu. We come here. We're not finished yet. Come here. You see? When Michael Jackson died, he, he left the will to his kids. Those kids are rich for life. Name all the rich people that have died and live um, empire for their kids. Do you know anyone? Do you know one, Nasma? Um, don't know that. Okay, name, that name the one that, that you know. Huh? What does the name have to do with it? No, I am asking a question. Just answer my question. Which one do you know? Okay, and I know a few. Like Kobe is number one. Okay. He left a legacy. No, for, so his kids too. Oh, so his kids too. The kids are enjoying that legacy. They're gonna inherit. They inherit. They already inherit. So they I'm inherit. building a legacy. Hmm. Not yet. You all read comments. Read comments. See, and then we're finished with the video. She was like, okay, sign the contract, no more. <laughs> and then the next day, okay, come read comments. Guys, do you do you guys hear these kids? You're gonna be my witness later in the future. My Jew is going to be my witness because when I become rich, Sonia, come, uh -huh. why this phone is dark? Why is dark? You have to turn your it's all the way up, but no I think way. it's the dark screen. You know, it's I choose the dark screen. Mm -hmm. I have to go change it. Okay, guys, let's Just talk it about it. Just uh, take it off. Listen, boys or oh, guys. <laughs> nah, <conversation over. laughs> <laughs> I'm calling us my boys. Listen, boys, building an empire for for your ki um for kids, your family is everything. Thank you, Miss Barbie. These kids nowadays, you are building an empire for them, and you're trying to drag them to come help you build it. Like this, eh, 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 Limba boy right here, telling me I don't want to be part of this page. Take my picture off. Take me off. He don't know I'm working for him. Home. And grandma sitting over here. I know she, she thinking the same way, but she don't want to say it. Nasma. Grandma, Grandpa Nazma. Grandma Nazma sitting over there thinking the same Grandma, way. I'm not thinking the same way. Yeah? I can read in your to, eyes. To be a part of a business, a family mm -hmm. business. A family is so is something that's so, that sticks together. Mm -hmm. A family is, so, is somebody that's supposed to communicate, mm -hmm. work together. So mm -hmm. I mean no. How are you gonna to communicate to to kids that don't want to understand what you're trying to communicate to you, them? How can you communicate to mm -hmm. a parent that doesn't want to understand you? No, you the kid have to understand your your kids, parents first. It's an equal thing. No, it, it, it's, it will never be equal. Never. No, we have That's to come before. Up. No, listen. Listen. Keep quiet. Let you me see, talk. This is the problem. This is the problem because you guys are born here. If it's in Africa, I already give you boom, boom, sit down, keep quiet. No, you see? Problem. Well, this is the problem too. You guys are spoiling this country. Nobody's spoiled. Huh? You guys are spoiled. Because, like, listen, listen, listen. Like Before this. you come into this world, I was here first. I've seen it. I've been there, done that, that done it, Nothing everything. Nice. So your mom and dad supposed to know better than you. Sometimes they don't though. Sometimes they do. Sometimes ninety percent, ninety percent of the time they do. I don't agree with that. Yeah, and you have to. Well, if you don't agree, <laughs> and it's a problem, because right now as a teenager, you still under your mama roof. Maybe if your papa was here, you you on your papa roof. They pay your bills. They feed you. They do everything for you. You are under their roof. Then you have to listen. My son is here. This one supports me. See that, huh? Uncle, Uncle Abu. <laughs> Uncle Abu, come sit down. Maybe you the only intelligent, civilized boy here. A lawyer, come sit down. So what is Manu? If he's the only intelligent, oh, civilized boy. Because Manu don't understand. He's a wise human being. Huh? Exactly Wait till Abu asks his question. Abu, what you say? I'm not the only civilized human. No, for for right now. You're saying right now. now. Right oh, now. you want to go to your sister and your brother's side? No, you're just saying, because they give you juice and ice cream. No, you're just saying I'm the only one. Because uh, for you right now. To be on your side. No. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not on anybody's side. <laughs> 
Yeah. The, Miss, okay, listen. Miss Kathy said, Nazma, you are very young. Lots to learn. You are a happy game for the few. What is that? You are a happy game for the few. What that mean, Nazma? Uh, Miss Toya said, you are a happy game for the few. I don't know what she mean by that. Maybe Abu just likes to cook <laughs> naturally. <laughs> We're not talking about cooking here. We're talking about these kids we are having in this generation that don't want to take after their parents' legacies, that they don't want to support their parents' legacy. Their parents trying to build a legacy for them and leave something for them. You can be, give me one too. You can be educated. You can go to school and be educated or whatever. But if you have a legacy that's already built for you, you can add that to whatever you have. You know, you can add that to whatever you have. Are you guys listening? This conversation is very important too. They are all, they are all good, wonderful kids. Just have a different way of learning. Uh -huh. What if we don't want to? Don't want to what? What if we want to do our own thing? You can still do your own thing. This, this is where the problem is. Okay, let me tell you something, right? When we... Can I say something one minute before you no. talk? One minute, Plasma. One minute, okay. Yeah, we're going to... No, 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 let her finish. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead. But I got to share it. No, let me finish here. Let me read comments. One minute. No, 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 no. Many, many people will trade. Hold on. Many people will trade life with them in a quick, in a quick minute. They are blessed to have a parent that want them to, to have a better life. Thank you, my sister. If we were to do a poll, that's a good comment, but it didn't have nothing to do with the situation. Okay, okay. Off topic. Let's say off topic. Okay, let me read right now. Let me read. Let me read one thing. Somebody said they can support you. But that 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 may not be what they want to do for a living. Let me tell you something, my dear. You that said that. I always told my kids, you can still go. That's why I send them to school every day to go get a career. I want them to be educated more than me. Me, I always said it. I'm not proud that I'm not educated. Though. I'm not proud of that. But I always honest and tell people that me, I never enter. Maybe I enter high school in uh, 12th grade. I was done with it. You know? So, I never finished high school. I never finished college. I'm not here to lie. I have to be honest. Okay? But I want these kids to have more and more... I want them to even finish college. And after college, they go for master's. That's what I want for them. But that's what I want for you guys. And that's my prayers. It's up to you. It's up to you. But at this... No, no. That's what I'm saying. I said after college, you go get your bachelor's degree. That's my wish. You masters. Masters, bachelors, whatever you call it. Okay? Okay. Yeah, it's the same, eh? They're different. Bas okay. Me, I don't know the They're difference. They're different, but it's like... I mean, no. But it's kind of almost the same. You can it's go get degree. bachelors, you can go get masters, mm -hmm. you can go get whatever degree you want. That's your problem. What if I want to get a degree? My degree. finish. Degree in what? Before. In gaming. Degree in gaming is not a career. Uh -huh. yes, I know. It's yes, not yes, it in gaming yes, to yes, play yes. games yes. or design. Mommy, there's Mommy, there's Mommy, there's Mommy, Mommy, there's Mommy, there's Mommy, there's Mommy, there's Mommy, do you know how many colleges they even have? Mommy, Mommy, do, you know do you know skeptic? Mommy, do you know skeptic? Skeptic? Skeptic. Yeah, she don't know. Skeptic. Exactly. Mommy, there's literally colleges for gaming. Mm -hmm. There's it's literally colleges. Games. All people, they probably went to those colleges. Epic games. That's the biggest place ever. All right. Literally. Let me say something. These kids, you can get any career you want. I'll be the happiest woman in the world when I go to college. You graduating with my big African clothes dancing, then you get your masters or whatever degree you get. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. But oh, what about? Let me finish. What about you have that career, right? The mommy right here mm -hmm. already build this seasonings business into thousands, hundreds, or million dollar business. Can that business be your side income? Maybe after, maybe I'm gone two, three years later. I mean, side income, yeah. You can manage. That's, what, that's my problem. That's what I'm talking to you, but you guys don't understand. This business can be a 
you know, maybe you don't even have to touch this business. You just have to manage it. We're gonna bake you. We have to put it in the oven. Let it be. You know, my business can be. Hey, most of the lawyers now, most of the doctors now, they are businessmen. They still go to court and fight cases. They still do their uh, uh, career. They still making money, but they have businesses they run. Business is money. It's color. It's cash money. Physical money. Okay. That's why me, I'm teaching you guys business. So I want you guys to learn. Say something now. So what business are you Turn the phone off. I am an educator in college. It's not... I am an educator and college is not for everyone. Thank you, Melvin. It's true. College is not for everybody. That one will know. Huh? What business are you teaching? My business I'm doing right now. What business is this? My seasoning business. This is a multi-dollar business. Nah. You it guys is, can. It's not. You got. Oh, of course. You know how much I made the first year. No, I'm talking about like right now. It's not. Okay. Like, right general, now. It's not. I just started two years I'm ago. Not you make this. this year. This year, right now, I'm going to. Oh, no, no, I don't right, want to no, say. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to say it. Yeah, but the first year, I was in the hundred. The first year. You know, I can show you proof. You know what I'm saying? So without educational. Coming from Africa with no educational, with no education, I come up with this product. First year, I was in the Mom, middle. You came up with by yourself. I or? came. Look at this. This boy don't even know this business. Did you guys see that? Wow. 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 He, he, he said, "If I came up with myself." No, because Chef Ruby, I beg, no read, waiting them Somebody they talk. I need a read all. Then Chris, then people there, they not get sense. We in Africa, will come on, we get sense. You can lead. A horse to the world, but I can't make them drink. Do you know the meaning of that? Yes. Okay, what's the meaning? You can lead somebody to something, but you can't make them do it. Uh -huh. Exactly. You can show them the whole way. The whole but tutorial. Them, you know, but sometimes. They're still going to do their own thing. But they're sometimes you're going to end up lose a big opportunity. Nah. Yeah, anything. sometimes you're going to end up losing. Yeah, 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 yeah. leave me nowhere. Mm -hmm. If I have a decision made up in my head, if it's on me, thank you, the, uh, Miss uh, Miss um, Stellwood said, the way the world is now, they need to learn a trade. Thank you. Um, I say no riddle. <laughs> Okay. okay, the topic in here, okay, it went all the way off topic. Mm -hmm. the topic it didn't go off topic, we're still it, in the same topic. It went off topic, way off topic. No. The topic was the family channel and how, whatever, whatever. Thank you, Gigi. And stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was your question? Huh? What's your question, Madu? A question. I think you whatever said question. something between the lines of... Mm -hmm. I don't remember what you said. Move fast, say what you want to say now. We're listening. Okay, I'm saying, Madu, why is it that you don't want to be a part of the family channel? He said that? And, yeah. <laughs> Please, I'll say, well, well, hurry up. I'm home. Come on, come eat. Uh huh. Talk. I don't have nobody, a reason. I nobody, nobody. Huh? Mm -mm. Anything you don't want to do in life, you have to have a reason why no, you don't want to do it. Not everybody has to have a reason. Yeah, you have to have a reason when you don't want to do something. But is anyway. there going to be like a... Oh, okay, so let me give you an example. So say, if we ask you to go somewhere, mm -hmm. or something like that. And I don't want to go? You don't you have to have oh. a to say no? Thank you, Mimi. But Thank you. You know how many people you used to work for me? You can't make them do it. Drink it. Your own one is against you. I hope you don't believe it, that you are. I do. Mm -mm. Mom, you can lead somebody to anything, but you cannot make them do it. Like you can, you can so what them. about what about if somebody is leading you to something that's going to benefit your life? And you but don't have to do it if you don't want to. Even if it benefit my life, that's if I don't want to do the they stuff that it, that it costs to get that, then I don't have to do it. It's not even if it costs. Then you know what I'm going to suffer. Okay, no, so that's, no, that's, that's if I don't want to do that, then I'm, getting, then I'm Mommy, obviously going to do something that's else. That's their decision. Because if I don't want to do that, just because somebody showed me something, that doesn't mean I have to do it. You don't want to suffer. You don't want You don't want to work five to five, Mommy, six to eight. Even though. Uh, Even paycheck for paycheck. If, you know if, that's, if that's that, and I didn't want to do that, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to do something. Miss Barbie said, I think is hold on. 
I think it's a wonderful side hustle for the kids and they still do their own thing. Thank you, Miss Bobby. That's all I'm question. trying to say here. Wait, I have a question. I have a question. In summary, you are in summary, you are an amazing mother and I now cook homemade food for my kids daily due to watching your videos. Thank you, Miss um, Oyin Oyinka. Thank you so I much, my sister. Sure. And what I'm saying yes. was, mm -hmm. you can lead, like you said, what if it's a great opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's a great opportunity, like what if I wanted to do gaming? Thank you, Miss uh, Will doctor, Mary. Right? Mm -hmm. What if I don't want to be a doctor for the rest of my life? What if I didn't want that job? That's different. Even though it's good. That's different. A lot of kids, you know how many how many careers will she have changed before she choose what she's doing right now? In the beginning, you know hold on. No, I know why. Much? Whether why or not, she changed it because she don't want it. She wanted to be a pediatrician. She don't want it. A she wanted a pediatrician. A pediatrician. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, to take care of kids. She don't want it. She wanted to be a doctor. The, uh, um, anesthesia. Anesthesi oh, anesthesia. Anesthesiology, anesthesiology, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, I look at it. I don't want to stay in the hospital. Home. I don't want to. She changed it. Now she chose what she loves to do, and she's doing it. In, in school, you can change what you want to do in, in the years until you decide on what you want to do. That's no problem for me. That's no problem for nobody. But this is business. We're talking about business. Business that can, you know, you know the most important thing in life? When you are sleeping, you are making money. That's what we call financial freedom. Amen. All of you finish. All this yeah, career you guys are getting from school, you have I'm to go work it. for somebody first for years before you have your own mm -hmm. lawyer yes it's true no, lawyer doctor i mean just like you you're you, you 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 already said you want business so no, you might know your like side you. you're an entrepreneur okay right? well let me can i finish what i'm saying you guys don't let me finish then you guys want to interrupt okay you want to say something let me finish what i'm saying you know all these doctors lawyers whatever whatever Sometimes they work for different firms, different companies for years and years before they open their own. Because you cannot just come out of school as a lawyer, as a doctor, then you open a company right away. No, you have to pay all those debts first that you owe. So those financial aid, whatever, whatever, whatever. College is not a scam. So, so but business... Put, so why would they put students that put the whole life to learning we're all the way to college just to make them? Like if they're free, they have to pay a debt. If you're not trying to yeah, be a medical yeah. field... Uh -huh. This is what I teach you guys at school? No, this is coming from college professors and, Wait, stuff, like, and students and stuff like that. Thank you, Miss Eva. Go ahead, Nanazma. We're listening to you. Okay, Say. you mentioned that mm -hmm. um, if we went in to college and mm -hmm. stuff and we got our bachelor's, uh, master's, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. that you were going to come support and you're going to be happy at the graduation and stuff. But that's, that's every that parent's you? wish. Uh -huh, go ahead. Yes, that's your wish and stuff. But mm -hmm. You know, you didn't mention. Oh, like if we even if we took a different route, like if we didn't choose school or college and stuff, and if we did our own thing, you you didn't say, oh, I would support that too. What yeah. do you mean? Okay, let me say something. I hope you're listening. I hope you're listening. Every parent, when you have your child growing up, your first, your first intuition or your first wish or whatever is your child to go to school and have a career especially the world we are living today like before 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 you can grow up in this country without a career without nothing that's fine you can go clean boo boo you can work in the nursing home kroger walmart whatever you can still survive but the way the world is going today a regular income is not gonna do it okay you have to have some type of education. Even you choose not to have that education, you want to do business. You still have to have some type of education to support whatever thing you want to do. The way the world is right now, where we are right now in this century, anything you do, they ask you, do you have a high school diploma? That's the first thing. You don't have it, they're not going to take you. You know, then talking about college, it's true. 
It's true. Y'all don't believe me? Y'all just keep Nobody's growing and believe what they're teaching you guys at school or what the Nobody internet what the internet is teaching you guys or your friends, you know. But I'm going to say it like it is. Oh, me, the education I don't have, that's the education I want you guys to have so I can be a proud mama. But even if you choose to do otherwise, you don't want to go to college, whatever you do too, you have to do it right. You have to make sure that this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it perfectly. And make sure it's something that's going to take care of you, yourself, and maybe your future kids or your whole life. You know, for a parent, after you take care of your kids from zero months old to 19 years old, America is even 18. 18, you are done. You can move out. You can go get your own place. Are you guys listening? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, America, the average age is 18. Oh, after 18, I'm supposed to wash my hair. I'm done. I don't have to buy you clothes. I don't have to feed you. I don't have to pay rent for you. Nothing. That's America. But we Africans, sometimes we keep our kids home till maybe 20, 21, especially if they're in college. You keep them till they finish college, you know. But you that choose not to go to college, you are 18, 19, hey, you have to do something, oh, that you're going to be paying your own bills or you're going to be taking care of yourself. Because if not, you don't expect me as the parents, as I all I as, as I'm getting, to get up and take care of you again or support you again for whatever you're doing. No, I, financial support, unless if I'm a millionaire, but if, if I'm just a struggling mom or struggling parent, whatever, I'm not going to be able to support you financially because you choose not to go to college to have a career that you're going to be making your own money to take care of your own bills or take care of your own personal life. Did I answer? All right, go ahead. Sorry. No, let me go. Oluwa Kami, thank you for watching. Tracy, go ahead, Nazma. Even if my kid didn't go to college... And they're doing what I'm doing now, which is ah, 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 my business. Come on. Mm -hmm. Trying to promote it as much as I can. Thank you, Miss Lynn. all the stuff that I am doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was, even if they didn't go to college or whatever, I'm still going to support them financially. No, no matter what the position I am in at that moment, like I'm still going to support my child. Just, for, just because they didn't go to college. You, that, that you're still going to support your child that financially. Mean, that doesn't mean that... Because they went to college, they, mm -hmm. didn't, they didn't go to class, doesn't mean I'm going to stop supporting my child or supporting them financially. Yes, I'm going to help them, especially if they want to do something else other than go to school. If they're going to start a business, if they choose to start a business or something, then okay. Well, if they choose to work, then okay, I'm still going to help them financially while they're working too. On like important stuff, yes. I'm gonna All right, let me read this. I agree with the kids on this um, on this chef Ruby and families and family. School does not equal success. You do not need a degree for a lot of job anymore. It's all about networking. Unless you are going to school for something in in medical in medical fields, engineering, lawyer. She, even her talking like this, I don't think she understands what we're trying to say here. I, she just repeated exactly what I said. But that's what I'm saying, that maybe you guys don't understand what we're trying to say here. The lady, you're trying to say yeah. she don't understand? Mm -hmm. What she's saying, she's right because there. She... Nowadays, a lot of kids don't want to go to college. A lot of kids don't want to. You don't have Not to have a college degree for you to become somebody. Yes, it's true. But 90% of the time, you have to. The percent is way lower. Mm-hmm. Lai you need... <laughs> oh, you can't thank you. Lai Lai, oh, you need education. Make make you know they read what's in, then they talk. <laughs> thank That's you. That's what African people believe because they want... When they came to this country, they just had the American dream in their head. That's why they keep trying to instill it in their kids. Oh, you need education? Okay, yes, yeah, it's important, whatever, whatever. But a lot of people with degrees, we ended up broke too. Like, either way. You so you said when we come to America with American dream. Yes. 
That's all. True. Even the African we don't go after our American dream. You that. can come to America with an American dream, but if you don't go after your American dream, Mom, you're you going to be under the bridge. I think you have selective hearing because you only selected one part of what I said. <laughs> Mimi said, I have, uh, I have some American friends. Um, African parents keep their children till they decide to move out. Not now. Not now. Not now. Mm -mm. No. Now, if you don't do something better for yourself, you're going to get out and go start your own life. You know, but honestly, let's just be honest. Me, I always tell my kids that I came to America when I was literally 20 I, I can't say 19 almost 20 i turned 20 here you know so with no mom with no dad with no family members with nobody so i have to figure myself out i have to know what i want i always speak on this those of you that follows me y'all know you know so i think that's the same culture here when you're 18 19 they say out go start your own life that's the culture here in America, if you have a parent that keeps you home, that supports you, you know, a parent will even keep you home till 20, 21 to 25. That's a big support. Financially. Yes, that's a big support. Paying your bills, you know, feeding you, doing everything. Trust me. Hmm. That's the biggest support you can have. So the best thing you're going to do as a child is to empower yourself. Is to empower yourself in whether whether through education now, whether through business so whether through whatever you're doing, you have to get yourself ready because no matter how long you live in your parents' house, you're gonna move out one day. You can live there till you, till your bia bia this bia bia come here. You still gonna move out one day. So you have to prepare yourself. But most of these kids, who is kicking the kids out? at 18 they that's crazy they don't kick them out oh some kids they kick them they kick themselves out are you gonna kick us out yeah. be saying it. i'll say it if you don't do the right thing i'll kick you out yes you kick you out? if they don't do the right thing i'll kick them out of course What's you have to do the right thing 18 18 19 years old I mean, you're not doing the right thing the right thing is to go to school and stay in college or if you, if you choose not to go to school or not to college or whatever, go work. Look for a good job to make money or work on whatever business you are doing. You have to have income. At the age of 18, 19, you have to start making money. So are you thinking about kicking anyone out? Are you thinking about kicking I'm not thinking. I said if they are not doing the right thing, I'll kick them out. Hey, you know what? Let me make my mashed potato. You guys continue with the conversation. So, all you think about anything of uh, kicking them out? No, I'm not going to I'm going to use myself as an example. Okay. I have my business going on and stuff. I'm, I make money from it. Waste the water. Okay, that's my whole thing. But, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what ahead. Mama, you keep failing. You never mention it. Like, you never acknowledge my Like, whenever we bring it up, you try to, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's like I'm not doing good enough or something. Or I'm not doing a good enough, fa um, fast enough or something. I don't know. What do you mean? It. What are you talking about, Asma? Huh? I'm confused now. Now you're going left. Where are you going to? I'm on track. You're not on track. Huh? Where are you going? You want to say me I don't support you in your business? Yeah, I didn't say that you did it. So what are you trying to say, my dear? I think she's trying to say like, like, like you didn't mention the fact that you're making it seem like I'm not doing enough or something. Like, <laughs> you like I'm not doing enough. Like I don't know. When I when I really be trying my hardest, especially with my business. Yeah, you said I'm saying but that you're not doing enough. That's what you're saying, Asma. Like no, I never said that, Asma. I always support you. You know, but as a child, you have to listen to your parents. Anything you do in this life, you have to get the blessing of your parents. You know, I always speak on blessing. Blessing is more than money, Nazma. You know, I'm talking to you directly as my daughter. You're going to feel that way, but I don't want you to feel that way. Especially for now, you are the only child that chooses 
to do what I'm doing. Trust me, I'm very happy for that. But at the same time, you have to listen and follow direction. Ginger, no, I need garlic. I'm gonna put and follow direction. When it comes to food, I don't say anything else you want to do, you can do. But when it comes to food, Nazma, the best person to listen to in your life is me. It's me. It's me. You know? So that's what I say. If you do the right thing, you listen to me, you follow my direction, you let me guide you, you're going to be the most successful woman in this America when it comes to food food, restaurants, anything concerned food. You can do anything else, I don't care. But when it comes to food, you follow my footsteps, you let me hold your hand and guide you, trust me, you're going to be the richest woman in America. If I can do it for the past 10 to 15 years and able to survive with you guys, four kids, I never put you guys in an apartment. You guys always live in a home, beautiful home. You guys never lack of anything the only the only thing or the only reason i'm not a millionaire right now because all the money i was making is to take care of my four kids and take care of my family back home so i don't have enough to save for me to be a millionaire today but i thank god for me to be able to survive for me to be able to survive all these years by myself and take care of you guys the way a mom supposed to take care of her kids you understand that but somebody like you you're not going to have a mom in africa to take care of you're not going to have a dad in africa to take care of or uncle or auntie or whatever whatever when you walk is for you you're going to be a millionaire trust me so if you think that i don't watch you i don't pay attention to what you do you are getting it wrong i support you more i'm i'm, I'm your biggest supporter but you support somebody that are willing to learn from you. Somebody that are willing to take advices. Somebody that are willing to say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. In life, you have to be humble. Humble yourself to gain wisdom. Guys, do you, <laughs> how would you tell this? I'm making my mashed potatoes. Though. I think I'm a very humble person. Yes. Knowing where I came from and how we grew up and stuff, that made me very humble. So, yeah, people always, always tell me that I'm a humble person. Yeah, you are. But Mashed potatoes. Do you, do you feel like you need me a safe space, like to come to you about stuff about my business? Yeah, anytime. My door is open. You have you know to feel. Do you feel like you 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 give me that feeling? That I have a safe space to come talk to you. Yeah. Do you have that feeling? Why? Why you don't have it? Because like. Look at Abu. Abu, why are you laughing? Stop I'm laughing. Not, I'm not laughing. She, she's being serious. You know Nazma. She's I'm not. Thinking. I'm not even laughing. I'm go ahead, Asma. Go ahead. It's good to have this conversation, though, in front of the jewels. At least the jewels can advise us. I'm going to start reading comments. Yeah, no, let your sister talk. Go ahead. I'm listening to you. And it's good to read the comments, too, so we can know what the jewels think. And I will hold the phone. Turn the phone and show them. Go ahead, Nazma. Where do you stop? So the only thing, mm -hmm. which, like, when we have discussions mm -hmm. about, you know, just life. Go ahead. I'm listening to you. The mm -hmm. the only thing is like mm -hmm. you know when we're talking about business and mm -hmm. life and stuff, and you're giving me advice. Mm -hmm. Or maybe sometimes like if you if I do something or something that you didn't like, mm -hmm. it'll seem like you will kind of like say some words or phrases mm -hmm. that make me feel like you're kind of belittling my business you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? you said phrases right sometimes i, I would say phrases words that you say yeah it makes it seem like or whatever like sometimes you say whatever business you're doing mm -hmm. as if like you don't know what i'm doing you know what i mean like well um 
I don't know what to say to you, Nazma. You, you're almost 19. I think you, you, especially you and Rashida, should understand me better than these kids. You know, I always tell you guys, I'm not an Amer typical American mom. I am a typical African mom. Mm -hmm. The way we talk and the way sometimes we're harsh on our kids is different. They probably have some American moms that does the two. They out there. I don't know them, I don't see them, but they have them. Mm -hmm. But we coming from Africa, I know where I came from. I know my upbringing. I know how my mom and my dad raised me. And growing up in Africa, I used to feel the same way. Why my mom talked to me like that? Why my dad talked to me like that? But now at this age, 43, I wish I can go to their graves every day and thank them for what they did to me. You know, the whooping. They, they harsh talk, they whatever, whatever they did to me. I wish I can thank them every day for that. Mm -hmm. Because without that, I wouldn't have survived in this country at the age of 20 to 43 today by myself. Without no mom, no dad, no guardians. Even the people that I met here, mm -hmm. that I call aunties and uncles, whatever, whatever. Nobody wanted to help me, guide me. The only person that I came across that was there to me as mom, my auntie Tene that I just lost um, uh, this year, right? Mm -hmm. She was the only one that was in my life that guided me. Little bit, not even 100% because America, everybody is busy. We don't see every day. So I have to guide myself from what I learned from my people. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up in Africa, I used to roll eyes. I used to go behind the house. I roll my eyes. I suck my teeth. Like... Why he just whooped me? Why he just talked to me like that? Or why she... You know what I mean? I, you saw my mom. You're the only one that saw my mom. My mom can stop me right here. Little. But she was a hot pepper. Habanero pepper. Spicy. She don't play with me. When I do something wrong, she, if, if she has to jump to deal with me, she would do it. You know? So maybe that's how you see it. Sometimes when I'm harsh or scream... Or say something like, especially when you do something wrong or something I'm not satisfied with. You know, maybe I will scream. I say a phrases or say a word. For you guys here, it's, it's um, how to say it in English. It's harsh word or something. Whichever way you want to take it. But I, I always, I think Rashida have that conversation with you too. That okay. Nazma, you have to understand mommy. Yeah. You know, don't take that, everything right? personal. Mm -hmm. I understand that, yeah. but it's still playing out, like, we're mm -hmm. getting older, everybody's learning every day, you learn something new every day, mm -hmm. and I feel like you can, I know that you grew up like that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but there's, there's always room for improvement, yeah. and, and as, as your children get older, you uh -huh. learn them more, yeah. so you know how to approach situations mm -hmm. with those with your individual children. Mm -hmm. So you can learn how to like communicate better and stuff. Like I, I know you say you grew up like that stuff, but there's 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 always room to change that because mm -hmm. it's not really a positive thing, you know. It it, it mm -hmm. kind of has like a negative effect. Okay. It has a negative effect. So there's always a way that you can improve that. We can't just stay stagnant and say, oh, this is just how I am, so that's just, you just have to accept it, it when, they, when, when it can be changed. You know? Well, I don't think I have much to change because, because I know whatever way I'm trying to raise you guys is my own way of knowing that even if I'm gone tomorrow, you guys can face the wall. You guys can be the strongest uh, um, kids in the world. This, this world we are living today in asthma, this is a crazy world. If you don't have a tough skin, you know, you don't have a tough, tough skin, you don't have a tough upbringing, it's a problem. I mean, there are kids in this world it's a problem, that asthma. have a great upbringing, mm -hmm. communicate, they, and they, they don't let nobody play with them because mm -hmm. their parents still teach them that at the same time without having to do all the roughness and, and whoopings and stuff like that. Did so I whip you? Why well, last I whip you? Tell me back. When last? Mommy. Or you just talking? You're talking, right? When last did I whoop you? Since you was Mommy, 11 I'm years old. My upbringing, I'm, of course, we're, um, we're adults now, but I'm saying, like, mm -hmm. the upbringing, heart stuff, you, you did that. You did all I, that. Of course I did it. I have to. 
I that's have to do it. See, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm just, I see because I understand uh -huh. your viewpoint. Because yeah. that's how you grew up, and that's how you learned how to parent your kids, too. Well, even America you here, know? too. Even in America here, too. Like I no, said, but they have know? parents that raise their kids right. And when you go out there, you see those kids, you're going to want to have them as your kids because of their background, because of their upbringing, you know? I cannot change the way I'm raising my kids for anybody because I have to prepare you guys for the outside world. I can go tomorrow and you can stay in this world by yourself. So if I don't raise you right, then it's going to be a problem for you. Do you understand that? Abu! I mean, call Abu. Call them to come in. Way. It's not an old school way. Old. You know, you're saying if I don't, you're okay. So basically, you're saying, boys, tell me, um, if Come you on. if you don't give us whoopings, if yes. you don't be harsh with us yes. and stuff, then we're gonna come out soft or something. No, not soft. It's not come out bad. Come it's out bad. If yeah. You don't beat us. No, it's not beat. It's not beat. I used to whoop you guys since you your baby, since 10, 11 years old. When did I put my hands on you? Hey, Abu. <laughs> Not his, but maybe a belt at 13 and 14. Like, hey. The belt does nothing. It doesn't do anything. Huh? Especially if we're. If you do wrong, I'll whoop your butt. Mommy, if we're in the age of 13, we're not going to feel the belt. It's not going to help. Huh? It's not going to help. It's going to help. The belt is not going to help. The boys, they're too old for whooping. They're too old. How to turn this camera? I will flip this camera. I want to show them the food. Don't tap the screen. Hmm? Don't tap the Cook screen. Cook with Chef Ruby. Y'all go follow me on Chef Ruby and Family. I stay too long with you guys today. Bye, guys. Are you, are you leaving? Huh? Are you leaving? No, I'm not leaving. I just want to show them the food. Can we go to YMCA? YMCA? Where's your dad? He can't take us. What is that? She feels her mom needs to change. Change what? No, I just Chef Ruby, you are exactly right. Thank you, Miss Vanna. Thank you. These kids don't know. They're going to taste the outside wall. Uh -huh. She will appreciate the strong mom one day. Thank you, Miss Tasha. Uh -huh. And I always do appreciate the strong mom. Uh -huh. If you don't understand what I'm saying, then okay. Can I get some sauce? Thank you, Miss Oike. And they, you need to tell them uh, the whooping that we say. These kids, American kids, you don't even church them. Because as soon as you come to America, they already told you that. If you church kids, you're going to jail. So who going to church American kids? Please. Huh. You don't even church them. They need to go to Africa and see whooping. <clears throat> mm. Speak says gospel true. Spear the, the rod and spoil the child. Thank you, my sister. You are a great mom. Thank you. I am asking what's, what is she feels you need to change okay they ask you a question what do you feel i need to change what do you feel i need to change that's the question they ask you Just explain, huh Just explain. i know you explain but now they ask you what do you feel i need to change because you said me i'm, I'm a too strong mom i didn't say that okay so right. wait, wait so don't stop wait where are we live at huh where are we live? i already end this one right there on this one talk they can see you no i, fl I flipped the camera talk hey guys so basically what i was trying to say was like the way that y'all came up in africa even even some of the old folks like back then or whatever y'all had a rough upbringing and they always say, oh, my mama, she tore me up, and da, 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 and that's what made me strong. I don't really get that. Like, that has nothing to do with the situation. Like, the way you raise your kids, they're either going to resent you when they're older, because you think that, oh, I'm going to beat you, and say this and that, Bye, you know, be rough with you, Come so you can... Age. Be strong. That's that makes that don't make nobody strong. If anything, that makes that's that makes them weak. Do you get what I'm saying? So it makes you build resentment towards your parents. Like that don't make that don't prepare nobody for the world. 
you teach them real stuff. Whoopings and stuff that don't prepare you for the real the real world. Teachings, real teachings is what prepares you for the real world. Wisdom. So I'm not teaching you wisdom. I didn't, did I say that she wasn't teaching you? not saying that, but she's saying that Whitney's is not. You're talking in general? Oh, you're talking? I'm talking in general. Oh, okay. What? Mm. Oh, Ooh. sorry. You're good. Uh-huh. You're talking in general or you're talking about us? I'm talking in general. Oh, okay. Yeah, say what you say again. I didn't understand that. Um... Like, okay, now I'm talking about us. Like, say you're talking to, to me or whatever. And just for the situation, like, with the business and stuff. How I said that you be saying stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, trying to, it, it comes off as you're trying to downplay my business. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever business you're doing and stuff. You, you feel me? Like, stuff that you be saying. It's a it's a certain way to say stuff. Well, well, whenever I say whatever business you're doing or whatever you're doing, that that don't mean anything. That's just how I speak. Mommy, like okay, whatever business me, you're doing, you say that's just how you speak. Yeah. But are you listening to me and my feelings? I'm listening to you, Nazma. Then why do you be repeating it? I don't understand what you're talking about right now, for real, but Nazma. <laughs> I don't understand what that's what he's talking about. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying I mean, to you're not trying to completely. understand what I'm talking about. You don't understand completely, right? No, I'm asking about something. <laughs> Eat your food, please. That's my arrest. Just do the right thing in life. You do the right thing, you're not going to have no problem with nobody, including your mom. Just do the right thing. Trust me. <laughs> you do the right thing in life, anywhere. Leave your mom house, go live in anybody's house, or go live with your boyfriend, husband, anybody. Do the right thing. When you do the right thing, your life will be perfect. In life, you just have to do the right thing. I swear to God. You know? The problem right now, at this age, anything somebody tells you, you're going to take it different. Um, you should know your mom by now. Maybe you are being sensitive. Thank you, my sister. Okay, cool. Sensitive. I know she cares and, lo and loves you all, and I am a total, huh? Total stranger. Everybody on your life. Thank you, my sister. Mm -hmm. She just yeah. want to head. Oh, she just want to what? Had um, chef. That's all. She heard me every day, my sister. Still, I, she said, <laughs> I just want to be heard. Yeah, I'm holding you. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Asma, but I understand your mother too. Thank you. Are you saying it's not what she said, it's how she say she said it? Me, I told this girl, sometimes the way I speak stuff, maybe the way I say it in my English, she's going to take it wrong in her own English. But sometimes the way you mean something, that's not even how I mean it all. But she don't understand. She want to take everything personal. I don't take stuff personal. It's a way that you can learn how to say stuff to people. Especially when they're expressing over and over again how it affects them. Mm -hmm. Mommy, what? No, I'm listening to you. Especially when you're explaining over and over again how, how you feel about the situation. There's a different way to go about it you, that you can learn. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not being sensitive. Are you done? Mm -hmm. I'm done. <laughs> She's enjoying the chicken. Wait. You're talking loud. You're talking loud and saying nothing. <laughs> That's why it's in her feelings to the <laughs> Like that right there too. Thank you, Miss Eva. Right, like, you just, she was right. just saying how she really feels new. Like, are you? And she's making a joke. No, I'm asking her if she's done, so I can okay. go to my Facebook and she's talk to my people. It as like you just waiting, like, are you are you done with? She me? can like, think it that way. Like, That's no problem. Me, that's how like, mean it. like, 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 how, like what the um the other lady said. You should know your mom by now. If okay. you don't know me, then you're not going to know me. To justify stuff, okay. I'm not justifying nothing. Not talking about the Jews. I'm going to raise you Jews, as I know how that. to raise you. Then it's your decision to be what you want to be. At least I'm going to say later in the future that I did my best. 
right? So you can be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do. You have your own self to do what you want to do. But I'm not going to back down for nobody. I'm going to raise all my kids the way I'm supposed to raise them. Because, of course, like I'm saying is that for me to come here and survive, survive by myself with no guidance, nobody, trust me, I'm sure I'm not teaching my kids anything wrong. I'm teaching you to be strong, to be independent, to, to be a, 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 a business, because she said you want to do business, to be a business-minded woman, the strong woman in the world, like your mom. Most of these stars, most of these people you see out there today, they are big, big stars. White, black, purple, whichever nationality. When they come on TV, the first person they thank in their lives is their mom. <coughs> is their mom. American, Indian, any nationality. As soon as they come on TV, the first person they thank is their mom. Some of them, their dads not even in their lives. Just like the way I raised you guys. You know? So... The ball, I always say the ball is in your court. When you have the ball in your court, the way you play it, that's how you're going to score a goal. If you don't play the ball good, you're going to lose the game. You know, so you know how to play your ball. The ball is in your court, Nazma. Whatever I'm teaching you, if you think I'm too harsh, I'm too this, I'm too that, it's your problem. Mm -hmm. God know that I'm the biggest friend for you guys i am the biggest cheerleader you know, for you guys for me for me you've been telling people that right yes, good I, and i know that mm -hmm. you know for a single yeah. woman to raise to raise kids no, no. what happened huh? what happened no no so she can take us to the live what i wanted to ask you though why you didn't call your dad no we called him but now since she could just take us since she was like yeah but during the week your dad needs to come get you guys and spend time with you guys I know, but that's my sister, so... That what time is it now? It's six. So okay, let me finish this potato, then I'll take you guys. Okay, let me finish. Yeah, so what I was saying... Anyway, me, I'm done with this conversation. The only thing I'm going to say last... for I'm going to read most of you guys' comments later. When I'm when I done with this live, I'm going to sit down and read most of the comments. Because it's very important. Me, I'm not, I'm not shy away of... of this type of communication because as a mom you have other moms out there that go through the same thing to raise kids in this country this america we are living if you are not a strong woman because most of we women we end up as a single mom raising kids by yourself you know any household that have a dad to raise the kids sometimes is way different than a single mom raising kids Trust me, it's different. Because if the dad is in the house, where you the mother lack of, the dad can pick up. And mostly kids, I'm on the, I'm talking. I'm talking. Who is here? Go. Oh, oh I know. Who is that? Oh, mommy. Yeah. So, you know, most of us women, we have to end up raising kids by ourselves. When kids raised in a two-parent home, it's different. Mostly those kids, they come out right because it's two parents. Where I'm lack of, the dad can pick up. Where the dad is lack of, the mom can pick up. And mostly kids scared of dad or respect dad mostly than moms. You understand? So, for me, I'm not going to praise myself. I know I did good. Nazma is Nazma. You guys know Nazma since we started this Facebook. If Nazma say I don't want to, don't put me on camera today, you dare put her on camera. So when you have your kids, two, three, four kids, you're going to have one that's different. That's my daughter. So whatever she's saying here, I'm not going to say I don't care, but we're going to talk about it privately. <laughs> hey, Marvin, how are you? Give me a hug. You okay? You hungry? Uh, Make him a plate, Madu. Make him a plate. Yeah, so... Thank you. You, you are welcome, baby. Um, you are a strong woman, Chef Ruby. Thank you, Miss Ellis. Miss Vanna said, clapping, I applaud you, Chef Ruby. The kids today are too entitled until it's too late. Mm. Okay. Entitled. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Time to lock it. <laughs> She's a cutter. This one is the real Akata. <laughs> she's the real Akata. I thought I thought she's a half and half because I sent her to Africa for eight months. But, but she's the real Akata um, among my kids. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Everybody is entitled to how they feel. She's entitled to how she feel. And <laughs> she's looking at she wanna jump to me. No, you're entitled to your feelings. You're entitled to your opinion. Oh, and, and I respect yeah. that. And I love you. I, I pinky promise me. <laughs> pinky promise. For real. I think that was very serious. <laughs> pinky promise or what? Okay <laughs> hey guys, she pinky promise. So I can't believe put me in Facebook cuts today. About how she feel. <laughs> Don't watch this live machine. <laughs> if you was watching this live, I swear you would have come here and dragged Nazma. Nazma said me I don't have no feelings. I did not say that. Wow. Nazma. Rashida, come let me complain. Rashida, 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 don't balance me. You're the big sister. Come here. She said I don't have no feelings. I don't care about her business. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. <laughs> 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 no, now she hurts my feelings for, for real. She said I don't Me? have no feelings. Uh -huh. I didn't say that. You said I don't care about your business. I don't support your business. I don't do this. I don't do that. Wow. Me, Me I don't want to talk. Oh, because if I talk, Facebook gonna scatter today. But I'm not talking. I'm not gonna say nothing. It's gonna come to a point where I'm gonna express myself too. <laughs> I swear hey. to God, if I express hey. myself, Facebook gonna scatter today. But I will leave you like that. Let her continue. Continue, my dear. But I love you. I care about you. I wish you all the best in your life. I hope you continue what you're doing. I hope you focus on what you're doing. And I hope you know what you're doing. And I hope you learn from the best chef in the world. Period. Mohammed is laughing. <laughs> Mohammed. <laughs> Nazma, they say, what is your business? Type in your business so they can follow you now. Go ahead, turn the phone to you. Wait, did you say unless you get pregnant? What? I never said that. Oh, too. I'm watching the live. I'm sorry. You see where she mistake me? Um, type in your business. People want to see. I'm sorry. Don't play with that food. Why is your place? Live. Make sure you eat when you come from the YMCA. Let's go. I'm going to Hold on. What time is it? What time they close? I mean, why can't you take them? Well, you have time. Hold on one minute. No, I'll take them. Trash one more than that. No, phone's good. Yeah, this phone, I don't know. This is the iPhone 15, the new one, but it's acting up so bad. The food is good. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Type in your business and say bye to the jewels. I'm going to see them later. You type in? Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell them the name of your business. It's for Nazme's Cuisine. <laughs> that makes sure, if you're in Atlanta, I just drop the menu. A catering menu and a plate menu. So place your orders if y'all get to try my food. <clears throat> Anyway, um, I used to tell my kids when they act up, that was, that's what, uh, that I was, that I was going to take them to Jamaica, to my family, leave them there, leave them there, they start crying. Yes, American kids spoil, including mine. This one I take her to Africa for eight months. I have to bring her back. Because Ebola. Not only Ebola. When I call her on the phone, no, she pick up the phone. <laughs> that's not true. Nazma. That's true, Nazma, 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 are you okay? That's not even true. Nazma, what's going on? I want to come back. I want to come back. I never did that. Mommy, please bring me back. 
you did nine years old. <laughs> I took this one to Africa for eight months. Eh? If you see cry. When I call her, she won't say nothing. She will just be on the phone. <laughs> That's why. What's going on? Did they pinch you? Did they whoop you? What's going on? <laughs> Mommy, I can mommy, somehow remember that. Mommy, please, reason. I want to come back. Please, I'll be I, good. I, I can just mommy, remember not to cry. Mommy, I'll be good. Well, please bring me back. Here. <laughs> I remember that. I can like, imagine that. I've said that before. I've said that before, yeah. Um, you can say, Chef Ruby, don't be sad. Now, this country, Kosam, we not get choices. <laughs> you are so right. <laughs> you are so right. But, you know, I'm laughing, but it's it's not funny. This is real. This uh, they have parents that go through stuff more than this. Trust me. Miss Alma said, Rugi, I am coming to Atlanta the ending of this month, and I will see you guys by the grace of Allah, by the grace of God. Please, Salma, please call me. Please make sure you come back and cook for you. Sweet, 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 sweet. Huh? Yeah, Auntie Salma, Ba. She was coming. Yeah. The, the onions make me cry. Oh, Nasma don't make me cry. I ain't crying for shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't crying. <laughs> Why? I ain't crying for shit. I ain't crying for nothing. And no, I'm still gonna be an African mom. Let me taste your food. Mommy, really? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me run away. She, 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 she said she's not crying for nothing. Okay. You think me I'm gonna cry when you run away? I'm not crying, though. No. Ah. Yes, you. Mommy, you're gonna be crying. I swear, days. run away. What Try it. Mommy, stop eating my food. Try it, Nazma. You think me, I'm going to come out there and look for you. <laughs> Godfather. Mm, Miss Rose, can't tell him what he said. Let me run away and see what you're going to do. Run. Make sure you pack. <laughs> Mommy. Make sure you pack your you last and last. Every night. I'm not going to be there. Mommy, you, you walk on the street looking for you, me. You pack your stuff and leave this house. Make sure you pack. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. Don't leave real? one penny. Mommy, you don't have the FBI involved. In the, <laughs> oh, come on now. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss uh, Stalwart said it's so clear. Uh, um, it's so funny how your English is so clear when you cuss. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Twins don't ever get along. She's my twin. She's my fighting twin. We fight every day. This one. Every day we're fighting this house. Mm -hmm. Maybe right now, we're going to fight for food. I'm eating Mommy, food. why are you eating my potato potatoes like foo food? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Dory said she will cry her heart out for you, Nas, ma'am. Like, <laughs> she, she wouldn't cry. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> yeah, I promise. If I ran away... She wouldn't know what to do with herself. She wouldn't. This girl, this girl, she snatch her wings. This girl, oh, on me. My daughter. Oh my daughter. I swear to God, I'm gonna have a party. I'm gonna invite all your friends to come to my house. Oh, you think my friends gonna come to a party where I'm missing? You missing, and you know you missing. You missing, and you know you missing. Abu, Mario, we're not gonna have a party. Look at Mario, this one. What would you do? You scared of that one. Scared of me. Give me five. What are we gonna do? <laughs> no, not who's doing five with me. Who's doing five with me? I ain't got it. That's not my problem. <laughs> Dang, for real? I'm just being honest. Mama, you gonna? No, don't say that. Ah, that's a different no, one. No, I'm okay. That's, that's <laughs> Mama, you gonna come to the party, right? When that's my game, Missy, you gonna come? I mean, yeah, I'll pull up. Thank you. Everybody will pull bet up. That, bet that. Oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna pull up in the house. No. That's my is gone. My room is free for rent. One college student from Kennesaw gonna rent my room downstairs. <laughs> Mommy, you're gonna come rent the room. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Oh. Don't worry. I'm gonna dance like a uh, kata. Nazma pull up in the streets, police. Nazma pull up on the street, police. police. <laughs> Mommy, one. really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's I'm fine. Gonna I'm gonna dance all night. <laughs> and then if I'm busting that party, then what? Then you're gonna pack and go back. <laughs> okay. So, 
love it. Stuff I can take you. Mm -mm -mm. And the life does not tell everybody thank you for listening. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Follow, keep following Chevrolet and Please family. Give drink. Oh. And we love y'all. Good night. You want water or juice? I don't know what's wrong with this phone. I'm trying to.